Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Today we are in the classic New England town of Uxbridge, Massachusetts. We will be watching distribution pole setting in an urban setting, street side. Our participating utility is National Grid, and this video is sponsored by Burns and McDonald. Now what you are seeing here is the staging area for the, today's job. It is in the parking lot of a closed restaurant called the Lock and Kettle. You can also see in the background one of our 45 foot wooden distribution poles being delivered into this staging area. And in the background here another distribution pole being delivered to the site. And as you hear the wind perhaps come through the camera here, we also can see the tailboard or safety briefing at the job site. And now it's time to deliver our 45 foot wooden distribution poles street side for placement. It should be noted that Massachusetts, as well as some other states, require special permits for transport of poles over 40 feet. Of course, our crew has that in this case. And now here is our crew chief equipped with a GoPro camera. You can see a plumb bob here. He's going to look at the location for pole setting here. Curbside just outside the lock and kettle. I think if we set the digger up over there, put the head drill it right here. We go right up between <coughs> B and the field. And now they're preparing for placement of the digger. We're using the dirt bag here today. I like to use the dirt bag. It's easy on everybody's back. But first, before digging, we have to hook the hydraulic lines to a chainsaw here on an extended fiberglass arm that will be used to clear away some of the low-hanging branches that would get in the way of setting this new distribution pole. Now this isn't the best view, but as you can see here, as the bucket truck comes back down, you see the digger going in, the digger head going in behind it there next to the existing standing distribution pole. Here's maybe a better look at it as that digger is down into the ground, that auger head. Have them drop it and then come. Nice. And now as we watch that digger finish its work and the dirt being shifted onto the dirt bag, we can now start to move this pole, maneuver it around the lock and kettle sign. Notice the orange rubber on the pole, that's to protect it as they put it up, protect it from contact with any of the existing wires. How's the balance, Chris? We need a change, it's a little tight. We gotta, we gotta move it. Gotta you move wanna rest, rest it on the pile of dirt? Yeah. And from here, I'm just gonna let you watch and listen as they maneuver this pole into place. Notice how tricky and uh, challenging it can be to yeah. avoid existing wires up on the pole. Up on the rope. Hold that. Up on the rope. Tilt your claws down. Grab it. Good. Hold that. Sting out. Left hook. Guide him, Eric. Next, we break out the plumb bob to check vertical again. A little more. Hey, you tell Nick some right hook. right hook. As you can see, he's also moved across the street to check vertical. Good. Set it. Setting it means filling in the dirt that has been collected around the pole, the newly set pole. Fill that in using a tamping tool, that's the jackhammer sound you're hearing. And then finally attach some numbers signifying the pole location. And after the trucks are gone, you can now see our new 45 foot wooden distribution pole on the street in Uxbridge, Massachusetts. 
you will see the existing pole will be transferring the lines over to the new pole. And here's the base of that new pole in the background, the existing pole in the foreground. So as we now watch our crew take one of the other poles off of yeah, the truck for installation just down the street, you have now seen our TND How video on distribution truck. pole setting in an urban location. Our participating utility was National Grid. This video was sponsored by Burns and McDonnell. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you as always for watching.